Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm your host, Chris Gethard. We want to say hello to everybody watching live on MNN right now, everybody live watching at thechrisgethardshow.com. Anybody who's watching this later on our podcast, uh, we really appreciate it. We're psyched that you guys are here. We've got a packed show for you tonight. We will be deciding who the new random of the show is. We set that up last week. By the end of the day, we'll know who will be our next random for the next uh, four, f pretty much four months of the show. Uh, some random stranger will be hanging out with us. Uh, I also want to... I want to make sure I introduce everybody here. Don Finelli joining us as always. Shannon O'Neill joining us as always. Will Hines back again, back in the fold, back in the family. Mimi's in the back on the hula hoops. Yeah. Look at that. The people's champion, Mimi on the hoops. The LLC playing us in. We want to join us. Uh, we want to thank joining us as always, the man from the sea. He's recently emerged to the world of men. Ladies and gentlemen, the human fish is here tonight. Human fish, human fish. What's he thinking? Human fish, human fish, human fish. So mysterious. Human fish. So human fish, what's on your mind right now? Rabbits versus rabbis. Rabbits <laughs> versus rabbis. And who wins that hotly contested battle? Rabbits. Rabbits <laughs> and rabbis. Rabbis are men of God. Rabbits. Wow. <laughs> rabbits win. Now, a very special guest. I'm very psyched about this, although it's extremely awkward. I'm going to say that right up top. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend James is here tonight. James, how are you? <laughs> now, just so everybody understands exactly what's going on, James, uh, you moved to West Orange, New Jersey when we were in fifth grade together. All right, yeah, yeah, sounds we great. We quickly became <laughs> friends. Uh -huh. First thing you said to me, you were like, just so you know, my family moves like every few years, so like, w let's be friends, but don't get too attached, you basically <laughs> said. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And then we were like best friends. Yeah. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. Mm -hmm. That we last saw each other. We ran into each other for about five minutes in 2001. Yeah, Outside of that, right. this is the first time we've seen each other in over 17 years. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. So how, are you, how are you doing, man? I'm alright. I'm alright. <laughs> you were my first white friend. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at that. Yeah. And look at this. I'm still doing all sorts of white people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is a, and you, like, you got here, you, your train was running late. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. walked in like five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is like the whitest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like, I'm like an ink spot in a bowl of milk. <laughs> <laughs> I got another ink spot in the back, though. There we go. Well, welcome to the show. And you picked a great show to be a part of. You know, even before we continue, Jesse Vandenberg, friend of the show. Happy birthday, Jesse, sitting okay. there in the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Last week, four people showed up competing to be the new random. Over 550 people voted at our website to see which two should come back to duke it out tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Random Christy, Random Andrew. <laughs> random Christy, Random Andrew, thank you guys for coming back. Congratulations on getting the most votes. Hotly contested. All sorts of internet chatter. Christy, I feel like out of the four contestants, you kind of flew the most under the radar yeah, this week. I like it that way. Look at that. You <laughs> remain mysterious, but I'm wondering, have you remained too mysterious for tonight? No way. All right. You're ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Random Andrew, in the meantime, you got the most votes. People. You got like 250 votes. Yeah. Also, by far the most... The most hatred. Yeah. <laughs> People... Backlash. No, there's like hatred. Backlash. <laughs> <Too hatred. laughs> People say you're like too good looking for this show. <laughs> yeah, it's like they're saying mean things, but they're like nice things. Yeah, it's true. In this but... show, everyone has such low self-esteem that compliments are insults. <laughs> People have said like you're like real nice, 
good looking and too cool to be a part of. <laughs> now, if you win, are you prepared for 14 more weeks of people <laughs> hating you? Yeah, I, mean, I don't really have a choice, but. All right. Like, bring it. So um, before we even get into you guys, I want to make sure, in tribute, this is our old friend's new friend show. My old friend James is here. We're welcoming a new friend by the end of tonight. Old friend's new friends. We want you guys to call up. If anybody out there, um, is, first of all, your opinions. If you want to hear what's on the human fish's mind, you want to let us know your thoughts on the random contest, let us know that. And if anybody else is out there and they're like, Chris is reconnecting with his friend James, that's kind of nice. <laughs> I remember this dude from my past that I want to give a shout out to. Call up, let us know. We'll try to reconnect you. We'll try to get your friend to call in. You guys can talk on the show. It'll be real heartwarming shit. It'll be great. Uh, so call us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you give us a call? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so Andrew and Christy, the first thing I've asked you guys to do is uh, bring a gift of some sort for the one and only human fish. Because what you guys don't know is at the end of this night, the human fish will be asked, human fish, random Christy versus random Andrew. Oh. <laughs> which. Luckily, we have a cast member of this show who just decides between two options all the time. So I hope you put some thought into your gifts for the human fish. Let's have the presentation of the gifts. Wow. Me, go first? me first? Whoever. Um, all right. Basically, uh, you're a half-naked fish in New York City. So I brought you um, a rape whistle. Oh! <laughs> uh, oh. Rape whistle. Naked fish in New York City. It's getting kind of cold outside, so you can have a scarf. Wow. And some gloves. Drop the glove. A scarf, some gloves, and a rape whistle. <laughs> Very nice. Do you Very know how to thoughtful. use them? Oh. <laughs> you're figure getting, it out. He'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, random Andrew, you're oh. a gift oh. for the human fish. Uh, well, I've known you for a week, and um, we haven't said much, but I got us. I first wanted to get you goggles that had a nose thing so you could do flips underwater easier because it'll make your hands free, but I couldn't find any in fall. So I got us friendship bracelets. With <laughs> shells on Friendship them. bracelets, okay. Yeah. And we can wear them, and if you decide you want to be my friend, and uh, here you go. Ah. <laughs> I got, and I got one too. Do you know how to use that? <laughs> Random Andrew, I'm going to say you seem a little sad tonight. Are you no. sad? No, no, I'm just like n nervous that I was like very out last week, so now I'm the in Andrew. Okay. And I'm showing sure like a tweet's gonna come up in a second saying, like, fuck that. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see how the backlash unfolds. <laughs> in the meantime, should we go to the phone lines? Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to the show. Caller, are you there? Hello? Yeah, what's hey. up? Who's this? Oh, wait. What's going on, man? Yeah, 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 what's up? Hey, I just want to talk to you about uh, this random Andrew situation for a moment. Okay, <laughs> okay! Very first call! I'm going to all go to like, some libraries and shit and like, vote for him over and over again or use some weird nerd hacks or something. And I just, I don't think it's right. You're accusing random Andrew of cheating to get all those votes. No, that, like, it makes a lot of sense. Um, basically, <laughs> like, just to explain, um, I don't know, like, I, I sent out, like, a Facebook event, and it was just like, vote now for Random Andrew, because you said, like, to advertise for the show and stuff, and, um, you know, I'm in, I'm in college now, so I just, like, I'm always around a large amount of people where I just be like, hey, vote, and I have a good crowd here tonight, too. Thank you. Yeah, wow! Yeah. And, uh, Random Andrew brings the people. So, I swear there was no cheating involved, at least on my part, um, but, you know, when you, I sent it to, like, everyone on my list, and that's, like, a good, like, 900,000 people, so I guess that's oh, just kind of what happened. See, you did slip in a little bit of a cocky thing at the end. That's the type of no, shit no. people are gonna hate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like... so he's weirdly nice. Very nice. Yeah. That's the it. thing I don't get. I don't get people are like, Andrew's the coolest, but you're still the coolest of four people who applied to be a part of this fucking show. <laughs> still a loser. I did ask the fish. What's that? Can I, can I ask a question to the human fish? Sure. <laughs> can I ask the human fish, random George versus random Andrew? Wow, you're bringing up one of our eliminated contestants, random George, and seeing who the fish likes better. 
this is a real can of worms, I'm going to allow it. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really hear you guys, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck <Fucking> <laughs> Later. Random George versus random Andrew. Keep Later, man. Fish. Random Andrew. Wow. 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 <laughs> After he said that, he started stroking his friendship bracelet. That's <laughs> <laughs> the bracelet. Oh. You have another caller on the on the line. Caller, welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. How can we help you tonight? Oh, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Hit it. Got the awesome song. Hello? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh, hi, it's Tesla. Who's that? T Tesla? Tesla, I've hi. been to about five shows. How's it I didn't come tonight. Yes, how are you? How's it going? Good. I just want to show my support for Random Andrew oh. because... He's awesome, but I couldn't come, but I think he's going to win. Random Andrew dominating the phone lines. Thank That's you, Tesla. Tesla. I appreciate it. These Wait, people here know question. Tesla. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I said Tesla, you two pajama boys freaked out. <laughs> I think everybody goes to pace, right? I have no idea what you're saying right now. We got to fix you this. Pajama us? boys. Pajama boys. <laughs> Can you hear us, Tesla? Yes. Oh, Random good. Christy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on right now. Well, we, oh, no. We're just uh, we're reacting because there's a lot of people in the crowd that know you. That's all. I'm going to hang up. Uh, okay. Oh, no. oh we got to fix the phones. I hope we fix the phone lines tonight because it feels like a hot show. Should we that's pass this go mic around when we talk? Quickly downhill. Quickly downhill. We'll figure it out. It's all good. Does anybody on the panel have stories of old friends? Anybody you'd like to reach out to? Well, Random Andrew, you're... Okay, man. <laughs> just like, real quick, it's not like a story, but you were just talking about um, how um, you were his first white friend. My first white friend's here, too, and he's over there. He came from upstate New York. Uh, he's been my best friend since okay. first grade, so I just want to do that. Random Andrew grabbing a lot of the spotlight so far. <laughs> just seemed, like, Anybody else friends you'd like to reach out to? Nope. Cheryl, <laughs> leaving her past behind. Mm. Don Finale, you're the kind of guy who actually maintains friendships. Mm -hmm. I do. Will Hines, anyone from your past? God, there's so much of my past. I, um, yeah, I want to take a shout out to the They Might Be Giants fan club of 1987. <laughs> if any of them are still watching and not watching their children, they can call in, we'll say hi. And you're being serious right now. That is all facts. Any yeah. members of the 1987 They Might Be Giants fan club, call in, reconnect with your old buddy, Will Hines, talk about fucking Dr. Worm. Yeah. <laughs> Anna Ang. The particle man, the, yeah, we yeah. can go all night naming. Purple toupee, Purple toupee yeah. Uh, what's that? These are great names. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're them. not just gonna list. <laughs> are these all six hundred and fifty? They might be giant songs. <laughs> oh, I they sound like all types of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let's start. Everything right is wrong again. Okay, that's some <laughs> good. So wait, James, let's talk Sheep. a little bit, me and you. Oh. What are some memories you remember of our time together, our four years spent together? Uh, karate. <laughs> karate? Karate. When we did a lot of karate? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I think the last time I saw you, I think I karate chopped you and you got mad. <laughs> really? And then I moved. Is that really your last memory? I, I have nothing but fond I, memories. I smoke a lot, man. I'm sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. I do remember we used to fist fight my brother a lot. Yeah, yeah, we did. He wasn't that big. But no. <laughs> but he's weaselly. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not large, but yeah. he's cunning. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, uh, we're gonna go back to the phones. Let's go ahead and see who's on the line. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hi, this is Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa. So Alyssa, just for anybody who doesn't know, she's a fan of the show. She's 16 years old, big comedy nerd. Calls us up, lets us know how her life is going. Picks our brains about stuff. And Alyssa, before you even say a word tonight, <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Do not say anything inappropriate to Alyssa tonight. It's, you've taken it way too far, way too often. There's like two weeks of buildup. Okay. <laughs> Just bite your lip and let it go. Alyssa, right. what do you want to talk about tonight? Okay. Well, I don't have any stories about like long lost friends because like I'm not that old. But right. um, um, I can tell you why I'm not making any friends ever again. And I'm going to get really dramatic. It's going to get dramatic. Let's do it. Like it. Um, Let's go for it. Uh, yes, yesterday, I, well, I've been really sick lately, 
And yesterday, um, I had two huge nosebleeds at school. Cocaine? And there were, there were people in the hallway when I was trying to run to the nurse, and I bled up and down the hallway on, on people's projects mm -hmm. and everywhere, and people were following the drips of blood to find me. Great. Sounds it was like... the most dramatic thing that I've ever experienced in my entire life. That's very similar to the first time I got my period. Shannon, stop it. <laughs> Shannon, there it is. Stop it. Well, listen, I'm really starting to think the mics are I, I know nobody wants to be the nosebleed kid, but I can say with some assurance that calling into this show, every one of us was the nosebleed kid in our school, for I sure. I still get them, yeah. Yeah. And you're six. And then the janitors recognized, they asked if I was the same girl from before, the second time I had a nosebleed. And I guess that's just, that's the deal now. Oh, last year, you're the nosebleed. Last year, I was like, I, I, I had passed out in between classes. I, I weird medical things. And so then last year, I was the pass out kid, so... I'm on a roll, guys. I'm on a roll. So yeah. last year, you passed out. This year, your nose is bleeding. Next year? Next year, I'm going to drop dead in the middle of the hallway is what I'm kind of hoping but for. But not before you give birth to a baby. <laughs> Shannon, <laughs> stop saying weird shit be to Alyssa. Be the baby Shannon. birth girl. Be all. Oh, Shannon, time. hallway time. birth yeah, girl. Nine months is all yeah, nine takes. months. Don't get in on this. She has sex this week. She has got a baby before her midterms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> baby birth girl. Be the baby hallway birth girl. I hope that's not the case. I think I would rather die in the middle of the hallway. Sh Alyssa, well, Shannon. You will die. Stop it, Shannon. <laughs> Your baby will be born. You'll, you'll die in childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll both get our wishes. Alyssa, I'll pay I for like the, like a third of your medical bills if you do this. Oh, good, a third. <laughs> Alyssa, I'm really sorry about everything Shannon O'Neill has ever said to you. <laughs> it's fine. That's it. She's fine with it. All right. Anything else you want to talk about tonight? <laughs> no, I, baby, I'm good. <laughs> okay. I hope I, I hope you stop getting nosebleeds. But if you do, don't be embarrassed about yeah, it. It's pregnant. all good. The kids yeah, who have nosebleeds grow up to be the, the smart kids and rich yeah. kids. Yeah, really strong. Your brain's not too true. strong. That's true, man. Your it's brain's not always true. Your brain's too strong. Kid in my house go that like nosebleed was a total nerd his whole life. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go to our next uh, random contest. Alyssa, I want to thank you for the call, as always. So we're going to go ahead and take another call, but I'm going to ask Random Christie, you're going to handle this call. You're going to lead the charge. Because in the event that everybody else dies, <laughs> the random will have to run the show. All right. So, okay. I got it. Hello? <laughs> I don't got it. I don't got it. You don't got it. I'm just joking. I got it. It's Jack Clubman. <laughs> What's up, man? Can you hear me? <laughs> Jack Clubman, welcome back to the show. Guy who pretends to be Jack Clubman. <laughs> How are you, Chrissy? <laughs> I'm pretty good, guy who pretends to be Jack Klugman. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. Listen, I'm not very heartwarming uh, that you are reconnected with your colored friend. I like him a lot. You know, <laughs> Jack Klugman, <laughs> wildly inappropriate. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not, I'm not about my generation. It's not that PC, but, you know. I, I understand that you're from a different there. generation, but in reality, <laughs> it's 2011, so grow my, up. Uh, my I did with Tony Randall. I used to do a Yahtzee commercial. And we, uh, I got a bunch of Yahtzee games. Is so this glad I can send some over to you guys. Hello? Do you remember? Hello. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you should stop being so racist. Let <laughs> me talk to Chris. What the hell's going on? <laughs> All right, Klugman, what do you want to talk about? No more racist shit, though. I know your bit is that you're an old man, but it's 2011, dude. No I'm more racist. Uh, what are we talking about? Sad stories? In general with this show, yeah? Yeah, well, the, the, the Yahtzee commercial I did with uh, Tony Randall, it took, it took me about 25 takes for me to uh, get the lines right, and Tony was very mad at me. I was, I was upset. He's, uh, he's, he's a better actor than I am, so that was, that was pretty sad. <laughs> You're the weirdest guy who pretends <laughs> to be Jack Klugman. You're the weirdest person who calls this show. Yahtzee. All right, so long, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Jack Klugman. <laughs> Almost no one knows who Jack Klugman is anymore. All right, so James, you're not just here tonight to sit on the panel, and I, I want to apologize for that shit. No, that's These right. callers, I man. I Bullshit. <laughs> you also, you've been making music lately. Yes, sir. All right, and your stage name is Trump? Trump. All right, are you ready to throw down your first song for us? Yeah. All right, so everybody, let's get on our feet.
to James over here, and welcome to the stage, Trump. Yeah. Hello, Trump. Like me on Facebook. P dot. R dot. U dot. P dot. Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Yeah. I mix my creatine with cognac. I'm a nigga for life in a major league like Bo Jack. Lady, I get you there like a road map. I make the picture clearer, clearer than the Kodak. When I look in the mirror, yeah, I know that. I'm about as cold as the air where the snow caps. Yeah, I so crack, but I only serve whites cause I'm pro black. I'm real, my rain major. I deal in exchange of paper. I serve bars, I'm a great waiter. Excellent bartender, I guess I'm just dog shitting. The best and the boss with this. I pass tests, I lost missions. Multiplication, cross division, next generation. I jog with rhythm, rest in my case like a lawyer or mortician. The facts on the table, you force fiction. I know, I know I ain't shit. I used to eat paint chips. My birthday is two days before Christmas. Fuck Saint Nick. I grew up around the crack business, why I get racist? I know, I know, I know I ain't shit. That's why I eat paint chips. I grew up two days before Christmas. Fuck Saint I grew up around the crack business why I get wasted. Huh. Everything's a gamble. From the cut of the cards to the roll of the dice. I know I'm dead wrong, but I'm supposed to be right. I take your head off the sound, closing the fight. And I was bred strong, colder than ice. I got a lead arm, make you fold like a slice. I'm like the only black on the team, I score with the white. I live the pro life. See, I wasn't coached right, but I still turned out goat nice. I get hired in the mall for coke price. Yeah, I flip cars. Yeah, I roll dice. Bitch, I've been wrong my whole life. Chick ass snotty, she just need a nose wipe. I'm six four, probably smooth, smell like old spice. I get low, I be keep that heat for the cold nights. This is the life of a low life. I know, I know I ain't shit. I used to eat paint chips. My birthday is two days before Christmas. Fuck Saint Nick. I grew up around the crack, cause that's why I get wasted. I know, I know, I know I ain't shit. I used to eat paint chips. My birthday is two days before Christmas. Fuck Saint Nick. I grew up around the crack, cause that's why I get wasted. Trump, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to I want to give real thanks to all our dancers in the back there, people in pajamas and whatnot, looking good back there. Let's go ahead. Uh, do we have any feedback on the random contest on Twitter? I see one right here. Random Christie might be the perfect replacement for Random Gene. Okay. Who else? What else do we got? Let's scroll down if we can. Do we have anything else relating to the uh, the random contest? There's Random George checking in in Greek, as always. We got the <laughs> translation on that. Let's move that over. Wednesday evening, wine and popcorn, and of course, watching the episode Chris Gethard. <laughs> so what other feedback on the random contest? Anything? Nah. <laughs> Never mind. I should have prepared that on some level first. Uh, is there anybody who wants to give shout outs to old friends? Anybody in the crowd who wants to try to reconnect and convince old friends to call on the off chance that they're watching right now? Anybody? If you do, you can get up at that mic at any given time. Let's just go for it. Anyone? Adam. Adam? Somebody? Oh, let's do it. Looks like Rachel coming to the stage. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my head when you're not around You're out of touch This is very awkward Are you feeling awkward? What the fuck was that? <laughs> All right, so Rachel, you're oh, an old friend of the show Welcome back Thank you. Um, That's the answer Me and that? random Andrew And along with some of my other friends Have, oh sorry Have a friend named Adam Who went to Pace and now Ironically, he goes to Rutgers. Okay. And we just all wanted to send a shout out to him saying that we missed him and that he should come visit us and stop being a loser and sit in New Jersey. Okay, so if that guy at Rutgers is watching right now, call up, reconnect with your pace friends. They miss you, dude. Don't let things slip like me and James did, man. 
<laughs> Don't let that happen. Rachel, thank you very much. Let's go back to the phones. Caller, and actually, what am I doing? Random Andrew, you're in charge of this call. Okay. Hello? Hey. Hey, this is Carl. Hey, oh, this is... That's random. I'm Random Andrew. We're going to talk. Hi, Random Andrew. I don't want to talk about you. Uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to talk about me. I think you just have to talk to me because I have to take the call. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, look. Yeah. Random Hi. Chris, he's an underdog because the underdogs are the one with the actual talent and also the prettiest faces. And <laughs> Random Andrew... The God, this guy says the, the, the underdog is the one with the talent, sure. not the one with the prettiest face, which you somehow managed... To insult both <laughs> randoms, you asshole. You asshole. That's an asshole thing to say. Agreed. <laughs> De thank you. So anything, anything else? What? Oh, he just threw his phone how, in the how did I do? toilet. He, he, I threw he his phone in the All Later. things considered. Andrew, I have yeah. to say, you seem like a very nice guy. People do hate you. I just think <laughs> it's like competition, and people are bound to hate, and I'm the hated. Now, does this happen in other areas of life? I swear to... No, this is, that's why it's, it's been kind of a really exciting and sad week. <laughs> like, I've never experienced this hey, much. Hey, let me say something here. Chrissy, I don't know you too well. At all, actually. Uh, unfortunately, but we'll get to know each other. But I'm, I'm too good-looking and too cool and too nice to be on the show. That's so what I was I got, thinking, I got a though. feel for Andrew. I'm empathetic towards Andrew right now. I think I'm swaying towards Andrew here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. You got you got chocolate on your one tooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go back to the calls. Yeah. Amazing, Andrew, that you took a call of a man who just wanted to yell at you. <laughs> like, I feel like that's just going to be a lot of the calls. Okay, let's go back. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hi, this is Random Jean. Random Jean! Yeah. Random Jean, your last week with the show was uh, last week. How have you been in that week? Hello? The fuck's going on, Jean? You should um, know. Yeah, I'm, I'm at home watching and packing. Oh, good. All right. So what's up? What do you want to talk about? Um, I wanted to talk about like a lot of my um, old friends um, that I'm actually going to see when I get back to L.A. I haven't seen them for some of them for about six or seven years because um, when we were all like 16 or 17, a lot of them ended up on drugs and I just avoided them. Well, you're going to reconnect with them now that they're still on drugs? I don't know if they're still on drugs, but I heard a lot of them have been clean. Like they all okay. like went to like promises in Malibu and, and like rehab in like Arizona. Yeah. So I'm Check just hoping they're clean. And if I hang out with them, I won't get in trouble when I go to LA on the weekends. You two got big shoes to fill. <laughs> big shoes to fill. This is what you got to replace. <laughs> so, Jean, which of your friends are you most looking forward to catching up with? Oh, man. Random Gene, you should know to turn your um, fucking TV off. I'm see my old friend Chad uh, from L.A. because he was telling me that I just have to go back to L.A., but I hope he has an idea that I'm actually going to be in San Francisco for most of the time. <laughs> All right, Gene, thanks for the call. Anything else you want to talk about or no? What? Oh, yeah, one more thing. I want Andrew to replace me. Wow. wow. Thank you, Gene. Now say something hateful about him. <laughs> Say something, say something what about him? Mean. Hateful. Say, oh, mean. hateful. Um, I don't know. Uh, that shirt looks stupid because I don't like aliens. It's, oh, it's no. the blue. <laughs> it's the it's Arrested Development. It's the Blue Man Group. It's David Cross. All right, Gene. Thank but, you for the thank call. You, Gene. We've got to move on because we have a very uh, special guest with us right now. Uh, he's out there on the campaign trail, but we're very happy that he's returned to us once more. Ladies and gentlemen, presidential candidate Connor Ratliff. Hello, people of the Chris Gethard Show. Hello, Chris Gethard. I'm very happy to be back. I'm very excited for the announcement that I'm going to be making right now. <laughs> Get ready for the political event of the year. Two weeks from tonight, 14 days from right now, it's the Great American Presidential Debate, live on The Chris Gethard Show, October 26th at 11 o'clock p.m., featuring the following invited guests. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney, Texas Governor Rick Perry, Representative Michelle Bachman, 
Former Godfather's Pizza CEO Herman Cain. Noted adulterer and historical fiction novelist Newt Gingrich. Former U.S. Ambassador to China John Huntsman Jr. Old man Ron Paul. The run is too damn high is Jimmy McMillan. Former U.S. Senator Rick Santorum. And in his first debate of the year, President Barack Obama. The aforementioned invited participants will all be debating the next president of the United States, me, Connor Ratliff. Who will win? Tune in and find out. But one thing's for certain. If you're not in this debate, you don't want to be president. The Great American Presidential Debate, live on The Chris Gethard Show, two weeks from tonight. Two weeks from tonight. Two weeks from tonight. I'm putting the word out. I'll be sending formal invitations to all of the official campaigns of those candidates. They are all welcome here on The Chris Gethard Show, two weeks from tonight, to debate Okay. <laughs> now, Connor, I will ask, how do you respond to allegations that you have a very intense stare to the camera? Guilty. <laughs> See, it's that kind of honesty you're not going to get from a Mitt Romney or a Richard Santorum. Please come on the show, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Well, thank you very much, Connor. We're happy to have you, happy to support. As you know, you're our favorite candidate. Hope other people answer the call. 35 Ratliff 2012 on Twitter. You can send messages to all of those official campaigns. They're all on Twitter, and if you if you tweet at them, they'll start seeing like they've got to be at this yeah. debate, right? Yeah, people know that how Twitter works. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing to see how many of them show up. I'm assuming all of them probably are gonna try. <laughs> right? Probably. That's what I would guess. How do you know how do you know if somebody on a debate wins? Do you say like See who will win. Like, how do you know? You'll know. When you see this debate in two weeks, you'll know. Trust me, I have a way that we're going to demonstrate. I think you've been cut off. Presidential <laughs> 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 candidate, Tom Rattles, everybody. Now, two big endorsements just came in. Now, Alyssa, who just called in, our friend Alyssa, I think Random Andrew should be the new Random because that's a great goddamn shirt, and my opinion matters. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa. Now, Jake Fogelness. Our wow. friend, guest, big, big endorsement. Random Andrew has a smugness that I just don't trust. Yeah. You know what? I gotta switch this up. What? I, I endorsed Random Andrew on Tumblr to the tune of maybe five notes. <laughs> Liked it, but, um, and I think you're very nice in handling yourself very well, but I, I gotta go with Random Christian. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, and there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong no, with fair. Random Andrew. So you're officially withdrawing your endorsement of Random Andrew. My endorsement Andrew. is now worthless because I am switching it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, yeah, I think Random Christie is for real. Thank you. I'll okay. take it. This guy says, oh man, Random Andrew, they should debate if Random Andrew looks like a dick. Hashtag he does. <laughs> Like at this point, like I think that's hashtag head O's. <laughs> it's good. You're all good, man. You're all good. No worries. Wow. Where'd you go to You're college? taking it on What's the chin. I almost <laughs> want to like keep sitting in the audience. Like I used to. I'm not. I'm not dropping out. Wow. But, Hold on. But it is tough. This. It's sad. So you're feeling a little beat up. Yeah. You don't know if you want to do this anymore. Crisis of faith. I don't. I like. I'm still gonna go for it. Cause that'd be the worst if I gave up. Wow. But there's an endorsement from Pot Awful. Okay. Where's that? The top? The top one. Random Christie oh, says, oh, oh, oh. Random Christie has tears welling up in her eyes because she's going to lose? <laughs> I don't think that's true. No, she doesn't. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's what. Random Andrew seems really, really nice, and I think he should win, even though Christie is an awesome name from a girl named Christie. Random Andrew is smug, and Will Hines already has the smug part filled. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, well, it's coming down to the wire. Big debate, what should we do? Okay, let's go to the calls. Caller, you're on the air, welcome to the show. How can we help you tonight? Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Hi, um, my name is Kristen. I called like a month ago and talked about my church. Okay, yeah. Um, and I have a story about the friend that brought me to that church and are reuniting like a month ago. Okay, this is awesome. All right, so I was walking to work and I haven't seen this girl since high school, which was like 2005. Um, she pulls over and we're talking and we exchange information and we say, oh, we should totally hang out one of these days, like you always say to people when you bump into them when you haven't seen them in like six years. Um, but we actually hung out this time. And it went good, like the first time we hung out. Um, and then things started to get a little bit weird. Uh, we were driving down the street, and it's Friday, I'm in love, came on the radio. 
and we're both singing along, and she stops at a stoplight, and she goes, it's Friday, and I'm in love with Jesus. <laughs> and she said it like five times, and she slowed down and put more emphasis each time she said it to the point where cars were honking because she had to go, and she's going, it's Friday, I'm in love with Jesus. And I didn't know what to say, so I just looked at her and said, it's Friday, and I'm in love with my boyfriend. Um, so things got really weird the next time we hung out because she said, oh, before I take you home, I need to go to my doctor's office and drop something off, which I quickly found out was a psychiatrist's office, which people see psychiatrists. It's no big deal, but it wasn't a quick thing. She had an hour-long appointment that she took me in to because she told the doctor that I was having the same problems she was having and that we all needed to talk it out. Um, I found out during that hour her problems involved schizophrenia, uh -huh. um, psychotic episodes, drug use, and I don't have any of that going on in my life. <laughs> so it was really awkward when the doctor was asking me questions about that. I just kind of shrugged and said, I don't know, like, pass. She brought you into her, sh into her shrink session? What's that? She brought you in with her shrink. Yeah, she brought, what happened was she said, she had said, oh, I just have to drop something off. Come in with me real quick. And then we sat down, and then her doctor came out, and she introduced me and said, this is my friend Kristen. She's having the same problems I am. She wants to sit in on our session. And I was kind of morbidly curious, so I kind of went along with it. Wow. That's a dope instinct you have there. I would so, have been peaced immediately. Yeah, I kind of stopped talking to her after that. And then she started stalking me at work, and I work at a school. So um, she demanded the janitor come out and um, have me come out to talk to her. And that was kind of when I cut her loose. I haven't seen her since. Hell yeah. Call of the night. Congratulations. That's the best call yeah. we got in a while. That was a great call. I'm sorry that that person will eventually kill you, though. Here's the bad part, though. All the calls we're taking are about reuniting you with friends, so we have to have the two of you reunite. Yeah, if that schizophrenic girl is watching, call in, because we really want to talk to you. <laughs> Definitely, right? Yes. I want to talk to a trash can. That's kind of one of our personalities, but a trash can. I'm right. assuming. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead. Back to the phones. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Oh, wait, who, is, am I on the show? <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't really hear you. Sorry. That's okay. Who, who are you? I'm Rita. Rita. What do you want to talk about tonight? Um, I'm calling in because I am the human fish's ex-lady, ex-girlfriend. I guess you'd call me that. <laughs> <laughs> the human? Hold on. Hold on. One fucking what? second. <laughs> The human fish's ex-girlfriend is on the phone right now? Talk to me, Rita. Yes, yes. My name is Rita. Um, we met not too long ago. Um, I'm a fisherwoman. Um, and what happened was I usually hunt for goldfish. It's kind of my thing. But I stumbled upon the human fish. And we caught, we, you know, we connected for about a minute. And I was just so, I don't know. I just fell in love. I don't know what it was. I don't know. And why did Hello? you guys? Why did you guys break up? Um, I am afraid of commitment. I'm not going to lie. Wow. So after that minute and a half, I didn't know if I could stay stay together with him. Well, I get it. I, I mean, don't if, know. if you're used to the lifespan of a goldfish, you're not used to committing. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's, that's exactly why. I mean, it's goldfish, right? I mean, they last about what a month, and then you're done. So that's human fish. I, you know, I say maybe a week. It depends on if you feed them or not. But yeah, so I had to give up. So Unfortunately, I'm, I've, I've still, he's still in the back of my mind. He's still in my heart. Okay, I'm going to ask him real quick, human fish, take her back or you're not ready. Who wins? <laughs> <laughs> the human fish is not ready. I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. I understand. Rita, please call back. We'll do what we can to melt the human fish's heart and make love blossom once again. Thank I will you. try again next week. I'll try again. Sounds good. Thank you for the call. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a lot of competition here on the show tonight. Things have been very tense. We've got Random Christy, Random Andrew battling it out. People on Twitter offering in with their opinions. We're going to go ahead and chill things out, offer up a heartwarming video. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our friend Michael Caine has made a video called Michael Caine Presents the Joys of Fatherhood with his son Truman. Let's go ahead. Let's check it out.
Are you buttoning your buttons? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. I'm trying to take a picture of you, Truman. Yeah. No. <laughs> It's an adorable baby trying to button his own buttons and his father filming that moment in their lives, Shannon. Maybe you should put the camera down and teach your child how to button his shirt. Shannon, why are you such a cold why? human being to children? Like Alyssa like, calls in. This could be a YouTube. It's like everyone's trying to make a goddamn viral video and they're forgetting to raise their kids. Shannon. Raise your kids. What do you have against youth? Thank you. No. None of these people believe that. You're being mean to an adorable baby. Raise your children. No, no. Stop videotaping them and start raising them. You don't think there's something wonderful about watching a kid try to button his own button? That kid is fucked. He's not fucked. He's a great kid. I know that kid. He's not his shirt because it's fucking dead. I want to put the camera down and teach him. What happened in your childhood? I was raised and I can button a shirt. <laughs> Alyssa calls. She's 16. You always say crazy shit to her. You see a baby, you start flipping out. Yeah, I'm raising Alyssa because obviously her parents are <laughs> raising her. 30 seconds each week, I'm raising Alyssa a little bit more. Did you notice tonight she was totally, she was like, it's fine. Yeah, because she's so used like, to no, it. No, because she's like, I get it. Her You're raising me. Her parents could be videotaping her. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, her parents probably are videotaping her. Yeah. Raise your kid, Michael Caine. Oh, Jenny, you're the worst. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hand the Mac mic back to my friend James, a.k.a. Chubb. Let's go ahead, get it back up. Let's get our dancers back up there. Let's go down, ladies and gentlemen. Chubb. Heads to the sky, cakes better than pie. Only smoke green, see that red in my eye? Yeah, that tropical, chronic roll, the lettuce get fried. Text messages rolling, I never reply. How'd I get here? I must have fell from the sky. If I don't say so myself, I'm one hell of a guy. Now where I'm from, the young bruise they lungs. Soldiers get murdered, and the news don't come. Pretty young girls, they get their innocence stolen. And smart brothers, yeah, we live for the moment. I stare fear in the face, the real can relate, see? I ain't never know how it feel to be fake. I'm past good, see, my appearance is great. I go around the roadblocks, I'm here for the soul shop. I buy white keys for gold locks, supply G's and soul rocks. You can say that I look like a thug, but I got a culinary degree. Yeah, I'm cooking with love. A lot of people complain, but this ain't that. I get profiled every day, bitch, I'm black. I can't change my race, and I don't wanna. I'm black as hell, you really gon' hate me in the summer. Uh. My head's to the sky, cake's better than pie. Only smoke green, see that red in my eye? Yeah, that tropical, chronic roll, the lettuce get fried. Text messages rolling, I never reply. How'd I get here? I fell from the sky. If I don't say so myself, I'm one hell of a guy. And people gon' judge me, whatever I do. And try to give advice on what they never been through. Why would I act like I'm better than you? That ain't about nothing. I pray for the world's preconceived ideas. The ones that believe what they hear. Look into their eyes, you can see that they scared. Everybody's looking for a reason to care. I might be living tough, but I ain't mad at you. See, giving up's not in my character. I'm at the plate like that is up. I guess I don't know when I had enough. I got demons latched to my legs, angels on my shoulders. See the wings in back of my head? My stomach's in knots. It's not a comfortable spot My heart feels the strain from not loving a lot Can't feel pain, I'm tough as a rock And I wonder when the fuck the struggle will stop uh, My head's to the sky, cake's better than pie Only smoke green, see that red in my eye? Yeah, that tropical, chronic roll, the lettuce get fried Text messages rolling, I never reply How'd I get here? Fell from the sky. If I don't say so myself, I'm one hell of a guy. I get to work and get rid of it. I'm the boss, but I still do dirt like a middleman. I'm a big deal, 
the reverse of a little bit disrespectful yet still considerate i feel like i took a pill to spit i'm a crook but i'm real legit rappers are chinese and i'm godzilla bitch the crowd raised the roof until the ceiling rips you know why i'm so fucking rude I always been troubled, I had nothing to prove, plus I'm just cool, I built this with my hands, I ain't come with no tools, it was me, Justin and Jew, busting the moves, doing what the hustlers do, I'm a coach, like Don Shula, but bitch gets the bricks, slicker than Rick the Ruler, talking shit like 50 cents, beggars can't be choosers, and winners never quit, my head's to the sky, cake's better than pie, only smoke green, see that red in my eye, yeah that tropical, chronic road to let Let's get fried. Text messages rolling. I never reply. How'd I get here? I fell from the sky. If I don't say so myself, I'm one hell of a guy. If I don't say so myself, I'm one hell of a guy. If I don't say so myself, I'm one hell of a guy. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing. Glad to see uh, creativity coming out of our, our uh, sort of shitty old neighborhood back home. West Orange is very educational. <laughs> Weird, very odd place to grow up, right? Yes, I'm glad we both made it. I actually, through. do you know Glen Ridge? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like right, I, that's where I grew up. So I'm right near West Orange. Okay. So I know James. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe. James, would you agree with this? I don't know if you're going to win any points with a West Orange kid saying you're from Glen Ridge. Uh, no, nah, no. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> no, that's totally fair. Did y'all even have a high school? What? Did y'all have a high school? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Glen Ridge High School. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Glen Ridge. I don't know. I don't blame you at all. Out of Essex County, I think that was maybe the least tough town. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, it that's really that's is. Worse. James has officially said your town is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 block radius, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's Tom Cruise graduated. That's we had uh, Rob Malone, the world's greatest dancer, sent a tweet during that human fish. He wants to know Chris Christie versus Random Christie. Who wins? Chris Christie. Wow. <laughs> New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. You guys a poli- career politician. Wow. That's true. Let's go through some other tweets right now, Nick, if we can. Uh, oh, no. My oh, brother that's made a Glen Ridge rapist joke. That's, that's a real. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. That's, that's not cool. like the worst thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Wow. A notorious rape case from your hometown Jeez. that we won't make jokes about. Oh, here's one. Random Andrew is a terrible dancer. Christy isn't much better. This calls for a dance off. I don't know if we have time for that. Oh, <laughs> Random Dan, who's here tonight, has officially endorsed Random Christy. Random Dan, when, when it looked like things weren't breaking your way, you, you threw your support behind Random Christie. Yeah. Wow. I think that uh, there's two people in the audience with... Yeah, let's have you guys stand up. Can we do that? We have two people right here. If it's not Dan, then Christie. <laughs> on their shirts. Yeah. The debate raging as we come down to the wire. Let's go to the phone. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to the Gethard Show. How can we help you tonight? Uh, hey. Uh, this is Randy Tillman. Uh, I'm from the 1987. They might be giant fan club. <laughs> <laughs> is this true? Randy is that, Tillman? Is that Will Hines back there? Yeah, this is Will Hines. <laughs> Randy. Hey, it's hard to hear you guys, but Will, where you been? We're still all hanging out together. I just, I moved on. I got a driver's license. And, uh, I went you got to... a driver's license? Yeah, I got a driver's license. I went to college. Oh, you sold out, man. What happened? Yeah, I don't know, man. I just got bored sitting around Danbury listening to cassettes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we're still all hanging out in the basement watching each other jerk off. <laughs> Those were good times. Yeah, yeah, we miss you, buddy. You should stop by, all right? I mean, I'll try to stop by. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> all right. Hey, I, I, that first time we mouth kids was great. It was a good time knocking dicks. Yes, that's right. <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Randy. Thank you, Randy. Randy use that. I believe that call. <laughs> For sure. We've got... Vacation Jason said, oh, shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, shit. As everybody knows, your friend of mine, Phil Jackson, just randomly drops by the show now. I don't know if he's doing more poetry tonight, but Phil Jackson has been stopping by. This is the third week in a row. He just showed up out of yeah. nowhere. 
All right, Phil, what do you got going for us tonight? So, uh, as you know, I recently started writing poetry. <laughs> and uh, I was eating a uh, California wrap at lunch, and I got inspired. So, <laughs> if it's okay, I'll share this poem with you guys. Is that all right? <laughs> Friends, how many of us have them? <laughs> Loyalty, devotion, passion, lassie, dog. <laughs> Royalty, riches, rites of passion, prince to a frog. Internet pal, Tumblr, subscribe to my blog. West, coast, beach, hot, bod. Best friend forever, you have it all, damn. I can find, you can find, we can find, we fly high, so we so high that on the surface of the solar sun, we reside so far and so together, we decline and subside, never damn. <laughs> Evenly divide everything we pride, everything we ride, everything we fight, everyone who might try to wrong, everything we ride. So, everything's all right, and we dress alike in our all black everything, twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> but then I get a drink, and you start to talk, then I start to think different. I computer process it in my mind while I'm sipping on that Henny. And I give anything to know what you're thinking because now I'm drinking and I'm contemplating curious cogitations. How about you? For your thoughts, I'll give a penny. <laughs> my bestie is a girl and I just realized you shouldn't touch me on my neck so gently. You know that feels too damn good. And the shoulder bone's connected to the collarbone. And the collarbone's connected to the neck bone. And the neck bone's connected to the rib bone. And the rib bone's connected to that thing that makes me get a boner. <laughs> <laughs> Macaulay Calkin with my thoughts, home aloneer. Got me thinking like a Yankee Babe Ruth homer. This is new terrain, I feel like a foreigner. You got me wrapped around your palm, isotoner. It's profound how confounded I am now found in this present state, Rome in a land uncharted. My bestie is a dime, a ten, a treasure chest whose booty I had never pondered, progressing, nay, never. The thought before this moment seemed like transgressions, a lesson I had never been taught to never not follow, but now I never not think about her and we're besties, so I'm never not with her, even though I'm not with her. Friends and fam are all surprised when I say I'm not with her, and now when I'm out with her, I'm never not flustered. Need some time to think it out, Republican, filibuster. <laughs> Going to baseball games, sharing hot dogs, never not mustard. Going to Shake Shack, sharing confections, never not custard. Now we're both sharing secrets, nah, I never not trust her. Always help her clean her apartment, yeah, I never not dust her. We even listen to slow jams and it's never not usher. <laughs> Which means growing friendships can eventually resolve that upset feeling they create in your stomach like Alka-Seltzer. But still, my best friend isn't my best friend. It's more like an unasked, unanswered, and unknown question. So I'll just ride it out, equestrian horses. <laughs> Don't want to move too fast anyway, Porsches. I'll just take it easy like summertime, even though it's hot like torches. And cool like lemonade, rocking chairs, and porches. It's probably better anyway, since 50% of all marriages are mirages that start with cake and corsages and main courses and end in divorces. Friends. How many of us have them? <laughs> leaving the, he's gone. He's leaving the studio. <laughs> <laughs> leaving the st and he's out. Now I'm no English major, but it sounded to me like Phil Jackson just reached out to a female acquaintance from his past yeah. through Ooh. poetry. Yeah. And this is an observation, not a complaint. Those poems get longer and longer. <laughs> I don't think anybody's complaining about that. No one's complaining, that. but I just want him to show up earlier so he can... The more show that can be taken up by someone who's yeah. actually prepared something, yeah. <laughs> I think that's not a bad thing. Right. So, Noah and Drew, let me know when it's time to uh, decide this contest. Yeah, about five minutes. What do you think? Just give another minute. Think okay. About we'll take, let's take one more call. Human fish and start preparing, though. All right. Let's get ready. <laughs> Human fish, fish start calculating thing. thing. Let's coaster. see. I am for random Phil Jackson. Oh, someone says let's have a Gethard Show prom. That's a good future show. Look it. I, I want everyone to tweet Chris Gethard and officially endorse Random Christie. I say replace both Random Christie and Andrew with a possessed coconut monkey. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of debate raging. Let's get one more call and caller. Welcome to the show. How can we help you tonight? Hey, Chris, how are you? Hey, is this Walter? Yeah. Our only fan. Walter is calling in. Walter's our only fan. Walter is calling in. Walter. 
So Walter, you're the first person who ever told us you liked this show. You called us up. What's on your mind tonight? Well, I, just two things I wanted to say. First, where is Bethany? Bethany's sick. She's got a sinus infection. We all really miss her. Yeah, all right. And, um... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know, it's very hard to hear you guys. <laughs> I know, I know. And the second thing is that I just want to give a shout-out to um, somebody that is watching the show today for the second time on her life, and it's uh, the one and only Random Jean. Random Jean. Okay, you guys connected through the show. It's always been nice to see. What is it? <laughs> it was just always, I feel like you and Random Jean became friends through the show, and that was nice to see. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're basically um, the number one fan, and she was the random one who went to the show, so I guess we have a history with you guys. Yeah, well, I'm very glad you've always been a part of the show. Anything else you want to talk about tonight? No, no, that's all. All right, thank you for the call, Walter. Very nice to hear from you. Human Fish, let's have you take to the, uh, the poetry stage. Random Andrew and Random Christy, let's have you join them. The moment of truth is upon us. Two minutes left in the whole show. So Random Fish, you've had a lot of time. Let's put you right in the middle there. First, before anything, I want to have a round of applause for both of our random candidates. <laughs> I also want to say thank you to Random Dan, Random George, everybody who came out. The only guy, I don't, this guy Random Dane never even showed up and still somehow got 12 votes. But you guys, everybody who showed up is awesome. Thank you guys for being here so much tonight. It's been a lot of fun and for all the bullshit about the competition, the fact that anybody cares about this show enough to be here means the world and we'll have you guys involved so much but only one person can have the coveted random seat. So human fish, take your time. But not too much time. Random Christie versus Random Andrew. <laughs> Human Fish, who wins? Random Andrew. Wow! <laughs> wow! Random Andrew, welcome to the show. Thank 14 you. more weeks. Random Christie, sorry, but you were, you were fantastic. Man. I was man. with you the whole way, man. Yeah, hey. I was with you the whole way. <laughs> you and me all the way, man. We got to say our good nights right now. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for being here, our randoms, everyone for coming out in the crowd. My old friend James, so good to see you again. James, I can't help but notice a lot of the show you've spent, like, holding your head in your hands, shaking your head at what's going on. This is some funny shit. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about how my life has turned out? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you all so much www.thechrisgethardshow.com Please visit us. Come watch the show. Come check out the show. Tell your friends we exist. Word of mouth is the best. Have a great night. The LLC is going to take us out. Good night.